Jen Tran, the first Asian bachelorette, has already gotten divorced. Let's see what the Asian community thinks. Honey, man, you picked wrong. I tell you, you picked the other guy. Oh, my God. Always make the wrong choices. Jen Tran, you're such a deaf guy, but you picked the wrong guy. Let's run the clips. He basically said that he didn't love me anymore and didn't feel the same way and felt like something had been off since the second that he proposed. He regretted getting engaged. The two then come face to face as they recount their very different experiences of how the relationship ended. And I found myself falling short of those expectations in the real world. And I found myself not being able to live up to the things that you need and you deserve. Boom, listen, oh, so it wasn't officially a divorce, Andrew, but it was a breakup from the engagement mm. where she asked Devin Stradler to marry her at the end of the season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, we're going to get into the whole comment section. I know you're probably thinking about a lot of comments that you want to leave right now. Give us a second before you leave them. But uh, real quick, David, I want to be clear. We did not watch the show, although I do remember celebrating when we heard Jen Tran was going to be the first Asian bachelorette and not only Asian, but Southeast did Asian. Did we celebrate it? I, I mean, I, I have friends, a lot of Viet friends who said, you know what? They thought it was still cool, regardless yeah, yeah. what you thought was going to happen. But I will tell you this, whatever the worst version of what people thought was going to happen basically happened. All right, so let's just break it down. So long story short, the season starts. There's one Asian guy out of like 20, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, Thomas Wynn, who I believe is mixed himself, but like more on his Asian side. And then uh, she goes through the whole process. She brings it down to two guys, Andrew. Devin Stradler, who I believe is half white and half Mexican, but more on his white side. And Marcus Schoberg, who is half black and half white. Mm -hmm. But then Marcus, who uh, looks like an NFL player, mm -hmm. he basically fails to show why he likes her. And then she ends up picking Devin Stradler. But here's the thing. She asked him to marry her. Uh... But then the crazy thing was, the thing that came out was that he broke up with her over the phone Two months after the show ended. Dang, David, I didn't watch the season, but I thought you just broke it down like, oh man, my emotions was going on a crazy roller coaster just now. All right, so here's the thing with Thomas. I guess Thomas Wynn, who's ha mostly Asian, had beef with Devin Stradler and was accusing the fan base or the other guys of racism while he was filming the show. All right, man. Sounds like a lot of drama, guys. That was like the quickest recap possible. But essentially, this guy, Marcus Schoberg, could not really answer why he liked her in a good enough format. So anyways, guys, uh, let's uh, we're going to go through a lot of the comments section. But I think one other stat that is interesting about this show, and this is not to dump on Jen Tran. I have nothing against Jen Tran. I am happy that she was on there. That's cool for her. Well, she's like the classy Tila Tequila, right? Yeah, she yeah. she kind of has the same look. Yeah, okay. So she's not Tila Tequila because she's a, she's in physician assistant school by the way she's gonna be essentially a doctor soon all right a physician assistant all right they they can write prescri uh, prescriptions she's more with the stem instead of yeah. h-i-n yes yes yeah so but this series i guess this uh, uh this season wasn't that well received like a lot of criticism was that all oh, the episodes were kind of boring or that people couldn't really get into it i'm not saying that's because she was asian but the viewership was a little bit lower possibly maybe but let's be honest let's be honest do you think it was her asianness that didn't want to make it too ratchet because people watch the seasons where she's like where the girls are like sleeping with multiple guys saying they love multiple guys uh you know what i mean making yeah. out with multiple guys on yeah. the first time second time yeah, yeah so so i guess the question is like are we glad that jen tran didn't do all that stuff that she wasn't too quick to kiss the guys, you know, that she kept it oh, kind of classy. Oh, she was conservative. Yeah, that she kept it conservative. Should we, we should be proud of our Asian sister for doing that, correct? Uh, I guess versus making it a uh, salute Magruti slow show. Anyways, uh, David, let's get into the comment section. Uh, first comment got a lot of ups. By the way, these are the ones from the Asian community, Andrew, not the ones from the 55-year-old, like, white housewife community, which is the primary viewership right. Of this show, and by the not way. comments that we left, by the way. But uh, mid white guy, he never cared for her. She should have gone with an Asian guy who generally tend to be more loyal. IMO, if they only had more Asians. Mm. Um, what do you think about this? Because the mid white guy is a TikTok meme right now about hot Asian girls getting with mid white guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't looks wise. I mean, I guess he's not bad looking. Wouldn't be on the show if he does. Was he bad look looking. like a MLB pitcher mixed with Pete Davidson? Yeah, something like that. But I think like I think it's really sad to see a girl that 
wanted, essentially on paper, you could say Asian girl wanted a white guy, white guy doesn't want her, dumps her. That's essentially what happened. That's literally what happened on paper. Right. And I'll tell you this, uh, because I've done research on this. She said before the show started, she's into Italian type guys. She ended up picking a half white, half Mexican guy who completely looks like a Sicilian Italian guy. So does it go to show you that girl, I'm, I, guys, I'm just saying that girls, when they have a type, they end up picking from the 20 guys and going for their type. Yeah, but I, also this is a show. She could only pick from whoever's there on the show. So maybe he maybe he was still the best pick. I don't know, but so, obviously right. it didn't work out. So Let probably me, uh, not. Somebody says she's still choosing white guys after this. It doesn't matter. And then this guy said Asian American women are so self-hating and white guy chasing. I've stopped even trying to talk to them. Okay. And that was from this guy right here. But yeah, I mean, honestly, they like Kevin Wynn type guys too, but not all of them. Number two, this comment says, there was one only Asian guy, specifically Vietnamese, and he was like the worst contestant on the entire show. They always try to make us look bad. They were talking about how Thomas Wynn, like, because I guess Thomas Wynn, they were saying that he wasn't really like, he was more engaged with the interdynamics versus the guys or talking about his own story versus his relationship with her. Right. So I, I didn't watch the show, but for those who watch the show, let us know how Thomas Wynn was as a contestant, you know, uh, all bias aside. Was he actually a good contestant? contestant was he engaged maybe the producers kind of twisted it to make it more about race but maybe he really wasn't into getting with her and he was more about it for himself so yeah i guess he wasn't like the most bro dude you know i guess but you know interestingly enough i looked it up andrew at one point he was a professional swimmer in vietnam for the vietnamese national team uh number three who says Asian guys are more loyal? Are you smoking crack? This is a comment from Hot Girl 671 And then someone said, yeah, right. Asian men are way more loyal than Asian women. That's a guarantee. Y'all cannot be trusted at all. We've seen it through history until present. So basically, this is sparked like uh, in the comment section of Next Shark, Andrew, an Asian girl versus Asian guy argument war. Okay, can I just say that Hot Girl 671 totally sounds like a fake account? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think people can argue... Because obviously, if anybody has ever had a toxic Asian relationship, they're going to say, oh, Asian guys are bad, just right. like everybody else. It's just, you just got to look at the statistics here. And other than that, it just goes case by case. Yeah. How can you compare like an Asian club promoter who has a higher thing uh, percentage chance of being toxic or like a, you know, whatever D-boy, F-boy versus like a white computer programmer or like a white jock versus like an Asian computer programmer, right? You know what I'm saying? Like right. it has to deal with the fishbowls of society that you're swimming in. Mm -hmm. So that that's the truth behind these comments. Somebody said, I don't know how Devin Stradler won. He was classless from the start. Man, this guy was not it. I couldn't stand him and I was only two episodes in. He clearly only did it for the fame. He's such like a realtor, used car salesman type mm -hmm. and she totally fell for it. He hit it and quit it. And, uh, of course, there's some more crass yeah. comments. He was an F-boy. I mean, I think I saw some highlights where he was like the shot o'clock guy. Shot o'clock. Was that him? No, no, no. That was another guy. Whose oh, that was him. Was, Sorry. Was All right. It's not Devin. Here. But anyways, um, I guess Devin, like, during the breakup video, he said, like, kind of the classic F-boy explanation of why he essentially ghosted her after the, the engagement trip to Hawaii where he was like, you know, I just, I, I couldn't, I wasn't ready and I couldn't give you everything you deserve. And then he ghosted her. That doesn't make any sense. You can't ghost people after you engage with them. That's crazy. And then break up over the phone. Right. Not even FaceTime. It was kind of like, um, you know, of course, I, I, there's even more crass comments that I like can't post just for the sheer monetization of this video. But like basically people being like classic Asian girl goes chase, loves a white tall white guy gets played out mm. he lets you know he's gonna move on and do whatever he did and text yeah. other girls yeah yeah um somebody said for people saying she signed up signed up for the show therefore the disrespect is justified do you know blah 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 how stupid that sounds and uh, other people said this is all scripted everybody is in this just to get famous and rich for their real estate careers anyway so f everybody uh, first of all, that is partially true. Partially that it is a soft scripted reality show, meaning that a lot of the kind of scenarios or the games that they play and the setup is definitely produced, but it's not it's not like these people are told to read lines. You know, they still let their personality shine and can still make their own decisions. However, it has also gone through a bunch of editing. So 
People can edit things however they want, you know what I mean, to make it look a certain way. So essentially, uh, I think if Jen really wanted to pick somebody else and if she really hit it off with somebody else, she could have picked him. Right. And there was no, and there was going to be nothing holding her back from doing that because ultimately that's going to make the best show. Is she find love or drama goes down? You know what I mean? Yeah, I would say if people have ever done improv classes, Andrew, I would say the producer on the show of a show like uh, The Bachelorette is a little bit like the improv teacher, where I'm giving you the scenario. You know, two people that they have to like, all right, you play this, you play that, but I can't control the exact words coming out of their mouth. Um, somebody said, this is not the Asian representation we need, but somebody said, but it's what we get a lot of the time. And then somebody said, why are you guys even giving to this show any attention? This is like the trashiest, like daytime reality TV. Yeah. So I guess it goes back to, did you, I, I mean, I guess I had friends who said that they were glad to see an Asian on the bachelorette show, even though they weren't going to watch the show. They were just like, yeah, I guess it's cool to have, like, a Vietnamese girl on TV. By the way, Tila Tequila actually had, like, two dating shows before this, I think. I'm pretty sure and Tila Tequila like, just reinforced stereotypes that Asian, of the Asian girls being, uh, you know, a certain Quite way. loose, right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what Tila Tequila showed. So, I think Jen Tran, she kind of kept it somewhat classy, you know, for most of the show, but except kind of the ending is pretty sad about how she pretty much in, got dumped. Yo, in a way, bro, it's crazy to say because Tila Tequila is like a, a supercharged steroided st stereotype, right? Of like whatever, whatever. But I'm saying that uh, Jen Tran's situation was almost like hyper real life. Like I've seen this situation play out on the streets of New yeah, York dude, City. Uh, Literally, yeah. like the tall white guy and then the shorter Asian girl like crying, being like, what the heck? Like, blah, 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 I put my heart in you, trust in you. And him being like, oh, you know, I... I'm sorry, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, somebody said, number seven, he smelled the nook chom in her fridge and said, I can't do this. And the durian. And someone said he meant his potential in-laws and got scared AF. Basically, some people are pointing out, obviously making jokes about like just the cultural difference. He's more like white. And then she's like super Viet because her mom's on the show and she doesn't really speak English very well. They have to communicate in Viet. So they're like, how would that make any sense? Right. Well, I mean... Listen, there's so many reasons why, but obviously he didn't really love her. I mean, and also, how do you fall in love? Is this show even make any sense? Is it for real? Is it kind of fake? Whatever. But I guess it probably started hit him more and was just like, dude, this is just not going to work out. She's taking him to go get pho. He's like, oh, I don't know. These noodles. I got the fork. Uh, number eight. Maybe a bunch of Kevin Wins would have been better for casting. And somebody said, yeah, right, man, they would never put those Kevin Wynn guys on because it would shatter the Hollywood BS stereotypes that they have about us. And then somebody said it would have been really funny, Henny every night and fist fights. Uh, yeah, also, guys, people have to apply to be on this show. And I actually just don't know a lot of, like, good, top-tier, good-looking, cool Asian guys would that, that would apply to be on this show. Right, because they got other options in real life. They don't need to be on the show. And I think a lot, it's a very American thing to kind of seek fame and want to be on reality shows, especially something like this where uh, you're like kind of fake trying to find love. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. This show, honestly, is very Northwestern Mutual. If you guys know about Northwestern Mutual where everybody's just trying to like sell, 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 sell. And it's like a bunch of guys, they might have money or be successful themselves, but they're not, they're like very like salesy ex-jock types. Mm -hmm. Somebody said... Uh, I bet you if you called this show's audience, the average American IQ would increase. People saying it's a low IQ show. Somebody said, I dated Vietnamese women and I can say they're crazier than any race, any other race. Let's be honest. It's the Vietnamese attitude. He couldn't handle it. <laughs> All right. I will say this. I'm not saying because Jen Tran seems like a good girl or whatever, but the way she was going off on him in the recap episode where she's like kind of unleashing, like you didn't do this. You didn't do that. You said this, you failed at me, blah, 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 blah. That was pretty funny. And somebody said, when can we finally have an Asian and bachelor where he gets to kick 20 white women to the curb on national TV? Ah, and other people were like, bro, we're like a really, really long way away from getting that. Yeah, I guess. And also it would, would the 20 women, make it convincing enough that they want to get with him. Because, you know, the 20 women, they sign up to be a bachelorette, and they don't know necessarily who the bachelor would be. Or, or, or how about this? You get Asian women that have a, 
an Asian guy fetish because you know how that's a relatively you mean non Asian women with an Asian guy yes, fetish. Yes, 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 yes. That's the way it could work. Because yeah, if you grab like twenty Beckys out of like Delta 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 in like Alabama, Texas, it's not gonna work, right? Oh, that would be fun, man. You know what you would do this? It would be like a it would be like a Comic Con themed like <laughs> Like an anime, like you know, you get the scene cosplay girls, like the the streamer girls who more like Asian dudes, and then you uh, no, get and the, it's got to be global, global. Get them from globally, ah man. Someone but, but should then, fund that show. But then, Yo. yeah, here's the thing: Why would the 55 year old middle America white conservative audience that typically watches the Bachelor, the Bachelor, watch that one? No, that makes for a great show uh, globally, like somewhere on the internet, I guess. Somebody in English-speaking Southeast Asia, one of those TV stations got produced. Ultimately, Andrew, what is your takeaway? How do you view this? It, it basically played out almost like, kind of like real life, I guess, because she picked a white guy that was her type and then broke her heart. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, I David, do you think... Let's just have fun with this because, you know, whatever. Do you think Jen Tran ends up with another white guy, half white guy, half Asian guy, or f possibly full Asian guy? I think she ends up with the phenotype that she likes. If she likes Italian dudes that much to get with a dude who's not even Italian but just, like, looks Italian dude who's mixed, then I think she's just going to have to sift through the bunch to find a good one. Mm. That's what I think. Uh, I would say... In a weird and or twisted cold comfort type of way for, for anybody who's offended by this show, you know, this is progress. It's crazy to say the candle's got one candle that is like a kind of a compromised candle has to burn for in a way for society to move on to other candles. Well, I'll tell you this, guys, before that there before there is an Asian bachelor at the top of the show there has to be an Asian bachelorette because Asian women are always going to get the shot before Asian guys. So in a way you could say this is a stepping stone. Unfortunately, it ended the way it did. And now an Asian girl is crying over getting dumped by a white guy again, like has happened so many times. Uh, first of all, Asian girls have cried from getting dumped by Asian men too, by the way, you know, yes, so yes, it, yes, it, yes, it happens both ways. Tall but, guys in general. Yeah, but this just, hearts. this just, this is a visceral image, you know? So, uh, uh, I may, maybe there is an Asian Bachelor one coming in the next few years, maybe five years. I don't know. Ultimately, it's crazy to say, like I said, you know, the progress in the middle America markets, it's different than the progress in the Oscars, like everything, everywhere, all at once. I won Sundance. I'm at Cannes Film Festival. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this market is different. This is like Andrew, NASCAR, NFL, MLB like hyper America, oh. like, you know what I'm saying? Like the people watch this show, they not like the urban Ivy League, New York Times writers, you know? I got it, David. The Asian bachelor is going to be a half Korean, half white guy from the Midwest. So he's going to be able to appeal to the Midwestern audience because he's going to be like either former football or former baseball player. Oh, if he looks like that quarterback at USC. Yeah, maybe former military. So he's going to have the background that can appeal to the rest of America, but he's going to look kind of Asian. So that's going to be, I predict that's, that's going to be our first. That's my prediction. Well, how many years, how many years out are, are we from that? I think it happens in four years. Okay. Four years. Not That's, next year, but four all right, years. All right, let me get mine. Um, yeah, I agree. That's actually a super good pick. That's actually a super good pick because Korean guys are the biggest and then mix in with the white. And then right now, and then uh, five. Five years. Yeah. Okay. All right. Guys, uh, let us know what you thought about the show or what you think about this situation. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we made a video about Jen Tran when she became the Bachelorette. You know, uh, I thought it was still positive net positive was this turnout her having the whole season was a net positive this ending not so great but hyper you could, realistic you could argue <laughs> it's a, a net positive so let us know what you think in the comments down below and until next time everybody we out peace, peace.